What is going on guys? Daigo Kobayashi here with Team Bonafide. Um, in this video I want to show you guys my setup on my Bonafide SS127. Starting from the bow all the way back to the stern. And if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to DM me on Instagram at DK underscore fish. Or leave a comment down below. So, get the GoPro set up. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is going to be my walkthrough of my 2023 Bonafide SS127 and this is the steel color. So we're going to start right from the bow and we'll work our way back towards the stern. Starting at the bow, I have the Motor Guide uh, Saltwater XI3, 12-volt, uh, 55 pound thrust. The reason why I went with the white, the saltwater one, was because my black one tends to kind of lose the GPS signal during the hot summer days. So maybe, a, you know, white reflects heat, so maybe it might, have, it might help during the summer. Other than that, it just looked cleaner, in my opinion. I do have like a little a pulley system. I just drilled a small hole, put a split ring, carabiner in a cable that runs to here where I sit down to so basically put the this step down and on the neck this is a Garmin Panoptics mount I believe shout out to kayak fishing supplies because I had this one on my old XI3 and I have a rope that goes to the middle where I pull up and store the motor. Uh, 70 amp Marinko plug and receptacle. And inside the hatch, little dry bag, cooler full of food. And I am running a yak power system. So I do have two Volvo 18 amp batteries running parallel, which is about 36 amp. Got my terminal here and all that. The bell, B is for the bell lights, S for the stern light, M is for my fish finder. In the middle, I do have the foot, the Bonafide SS foot steering kit installed to steer my NK180, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But this is my graph. I, I was running a Garmin 93S, 93SB. So I recently made a switch to the Hummingbird Helix 8 uh, Mega Side Imaging G4N Awesome graph, a little bulky so I'll probably need to work on installing a heavy duty track mount But yeah, I love the the picture quality on the Hummingbird plus the Lake Master chip I do have a Zuka, Yak Attack Zuka rod holder to store my net when I'm tra trailering from the water up to the parking lot or to store my rod after I catch a fish or something. And the junk drawer, two kayak cushions, got my catch board on a catch holder that I just uh, mounted on the track that I installed. Keeps it nice and stored when I'm not using. And I am running two Yak Attack Black Black Pearls, 13 by 13 in the front and 13 by 16 on the back. So inside the 1313, 13, I could carry, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven or eight, 3600 boxes. I do have like my scale and stuff in there. So and I put six rod holders on the 13 by 13. And on a 16 by 13, I put four more so I can put 10 rod holders. And on this track here, I got my Boomstick Pro for my GoPro. All right, and on to the stern. Oh, so this is for my uh, flag, for the Yak Power flag with the light. 
it's the new one it comes with like a SAE plug on the side so you could I could run it straight to my GoPro and plug it in there but on the stern I'm running the Newport Vessel NK180 awesome awesome motor really really compact like it's the size of my hand very light um, I did think about putting an NK300 but with the weight cap and how the SS is handling it right now I think NK180 is plenty um, calm day I could probably hit five miles per hour going full throttle but easy cruise around 75 80 percent which will get me like 4.6 4.7 so you know these are all pre-rigged in the kit that you get so on the back this back hatch here is my cable for my motor guide so this is the main wire that leads from the front inside the hole up here out here with the power works uh anderson connectors same with the new port so let's take a look inside the 16 by 13 which is where my battery is so i just thought of a uh, an idea instead of me having to put another battery inside an extra weight i am running just the just one 24 volt 50 amp amp outdoors lithium battery with the bluetooth connect and i'm running a 24 volt to a 12 volt step down transformer <clears throat> which is how i'm running the xi3 which is a 12 volt with a 24 volt battery it's like all wired and it's got the transformer there so it's from 24 to 12 and then from there i got my 60 amp breaker so if anything happens you know no no problem but this is a 24 volt to a 12 volt 60 amp transformer uh, which is plenty to run the motor guide i've done tournaments like full day of fishing with running just the xi3 with this battery and the setup and no issues so so far but one thing i would um take caution is when you charge the battery i always like to unplug these um in case of like if i have these plugged in and i plug the charger in it might over shock the voltage on these and it's dangerous to run let's say like the 12 volt side is running like 17 well you could definitely um break your motor guide with a high voltage like that so i mean either that or you could you could run two separate batteries as well that will probably be the safer route but i just wanted to um get rid of some extra weight on the back so so that's the battery box and over here got my paddle i had this paddle forever with the yak attack double header it's my newport vessel throttle so a little hack so the double header comes with that track nut I took it off and I put the Akatak cup holder so I could tighten it and loosen it using the cup holder instead of having to put it somewhere else. Uh, so this is a tackle caddy from Rail Blaza. It just it fits well on the side of the seat. Just uh, uh, longer screws and I put extra spacers there and this side I kind of have to drill another hole on the the thing here to make it fit but all these screws align with the bona fide seat so there's my donkey leash you know, junk drawer like i said and this is where i pull it for the new port i pull this to lift it up i set this down to lower it down well, i think that's about it did get a new trailer 
this is the Malone Extra Light model or the Eco Light, something similar. It's the smaller one, it's the smaller wheel. You know, added some steps, spare tire, wheel jack, and it actually came with these bars that I bought it used and the little hooks. So, so this is my current uh, tournament rig kayak. Uh, I did place an order for the the PWR 129. So hopefully I'll have that soon, and I'll probably make another video of the PWR once I get it all rigged up. But yeah, again, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll definitely put all the I'll put all the links and stuff in the description below. But if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or Facebook. Or just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you out. Do one more walk through. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.